that's exactly how I'm seeing their role. Robert Kraft seemed to be re- real good friends with Tom Brady. Why? Because Tom Brady made Robert Kraft a lot of money. A lot of money. That's why. I don't see him knocking down on uh, Jimmy G's door. Jimmy G played for him too. He ain't won the Super Bowls like Tom Brady. Going back to Tom Brady for a second. After they get that win against the Cowboys, is there a chance the Bucs could actually make a, play, a Super Bowl run? Is that really a, a possibility? You can't count nothing, nothing out when it's coming with Tom Brady, so I think it's a possibility, but ooh-wee, that's going to make things... It's going to make things more tight. More tight, because don't let the Bucs get a win against the Cowboys. And whoever got to play them next, they're on that high. They're on that high so hard. So, look, looking forward to um, looking forward to 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 the weekend. I'm looking forward to one more day to the weekend. One more day to finally watch these wild card games. I'm so excited about that. That's all I've been thinking about a lot of times. Is let's start these playoffs already. So Thursday, Thursday was supposed to be a game between women's basketball, Arizona State, going up against against um ranked number ten Utah. Um. The game was forfeit because Arizona State did not have enough players to play the game because of too many injuries. It it started to remind me that re, right there reminded me of UConn um in, injury problem. That started to remind me of that. They they basically had their whole team dismantled with injuries. They got they got one one player that that could be possibly suffering from a concussion. Um, the main player, um, Aaliyah Edwards, found um she, she came back. Um, NZ Fuzz, I I forgot forgot to mention her, forgot to mention her um on Wednesday Wednesday's game. You know, but you no know, she she came back, put up fourteen points off the off the bench in that in that game. You know, so and the and the coach was sick for a, for a few games, and now he's back. So it looked like UConn was on the verge of forfeiting some games too, but they managed to avoid that. But now I'm looking at Arizona State. It, it leads to my question. I, I I was thinking about thinking about this um earlier this morning. It leads to it leads to my question. What's what's is it that? Is it that much less women basketball athletes that if a few players go through an injury like every other athlete that that's an athlete for for a time when they train multiple times a day and perform their sport they they go through injuries. Is it so many? Is it so less of a number in women's basketball that if three players get injured, people are gonna have to forfeit games? Because when I see a basketball team, I'm used to, like, 12 players and 15 um, injury reserve players. I'm used, I mean, three injury reserve players. I'm used to, like, a big squad. I don't think college women's basketball got that type of squad. Even in powerhouse schools like UConn and, and, and um, South Carolina, they probably don't have that squad. Which means that the players need to really could try to... Avoid getting injured, cause like Arizona State, you know, Arizona State, you they might have to forfeit some games that they don't want to forfeit. Well, I mean nobody wants to forfeit the game, but you, you you see my point. So, hopefully, as the years go go by, go by, there'll be more more women in sports, more women athletes. You know, that's what I'm hoping to see. I'm hoping those numbers to be just as just as much as the guys' numbers. This way, teams not don't have to forfeit games because of 
two or three players is not able to play. Because they are able to play. If the if the girls would, would get out their minds of, of, the, of that stigma mindset that girls girls don't play sports, they get out their mind and actually try to play the game, they're able to play. So hopefully the injuries could slow down a lot for women's basketball, and when when the to- when the tournaments start in a couple months, we can actually see the best at their best play the best, and not a team that's getting blown out because they lost two of their three top players on the team or whatever the case may, may, may be. I'm hoping I don't see that. I'm hoping I'm hoping in women's basketball. Especially this close to March Madness, I do not see that. I want these teams to continue to play hard and try to stay healthy because you can't get hurt. Think of it like that. You get hurt, you lose. You don't show up to work, you lose. You know, just, just think about that. There's not enough girls on the team. So be careful when you're dripping that ball because if you fall and you twist your own ankle and you can't play, you will lose. That's, that's my show. I want to thank everybody for listening. And I want to okay, go ahead and shut this down because it is late and I had a long day. I did not want to end this day without speaking on this microphone but I'm ready to go ahead and shut this down and shut my body down and get ready for the morning that's what I'm ready to do so Friday's ep- Friday's um, episode I'll be a lot more a lot more alert and a lot less thinking about Man, I can't wait to lay down. <laughs> Cause that's what I'm thinking right now. I cannot wait to lay down. But like I said, that's my show. Find, you know, hopefully some things will be changed by tomorrow. Hopefully we'll see Lamar Jackson on the practice field. If not, I don't think he's gonna play. And then if, if 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 you know he has to. Well, whatever, whatever will happen, it'll be more, more news and more updates and more injury updates and more, you know, opinions being made that the 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 night before the 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 um the big wild card weekend, it be it be a lot more to to discuss, in the next episode, whatever the updates, whatever the updates are, I'm on it. And then I will tell you it all about it right in this mic. Hey, everybody, y'all enjoy the rest the rest of y'all day. You know, and you you know the drill. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Peace. <laughs>